Good morning. I am gonna make a smoothie. I wanna use these bananas before they completely go bad. I need some banana recipes because we just bought these bananas from Costco and within like three days, they're brown. I mean, we bought them when they were like green and now they're like brown spots all over and I hate to waste food. Our banana tree actually have bananas like like a bunch but they're not ready so that's why we purchase bananas but as soon as they're ready we don't have to purchase any more bananas so this smoothie is gonna have a little bit of mango chunks some kale later today i'm gonna make a kale caesar salad i think i'm gonna do that um i made it yesterday like a kale salad similar but i'm gonna like try to probably do like a caesar salad today with kale. so good all right i'm gonna use my ag1 i think i still have a code if you guys want to try ag1 greens i love this stuff it's so good I woke up feeling so inspired to vlog and um, let's add some uh, collagen. Um, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Chia seeds to this. I just eyeball everything. So I don't really like measure. Okay, we have some ice and then coconut milk. Coconut milk. Shake. I'm gonna make like a little little TikTok too as well. So I'm gonna go outside, but this looks really good. I'm actually gonna sneak a little taste. Mmm, really good. This is like the best time to actually make a smoothie with the banana because you can taste the banana. Like it helps to like balance out like the um, bitterness that kale kind of leaves. Okay guys, so I want to check on our bananas because pretty soon they should be ready. Um, yeah, I think they're almost ready. Like we get probably like 50 to 60 bananas like on a tree and we have five banana trees. So this looks like a really nice little smoothie with the bananas. I think this would be a really cute photo for Instagram, <laughs> but this is really nice. Um, and we honestly, it's an, almost impossible for us to eat all these bananas. So we're going to probably give some to friends, freeze some for smoothies and, you know, try to do that. Okay, so I'm about to take a shower and I just want to share with you guys like the things that makes my skin just silky smooth. I feel like this is like essential. This is Tree Hut Pink Hibiscus She Sugar Scrub. I love this scent. It smells so good, but like I think, oh, it smells like an island. <laughs> I think this is like really like exfoliating your skin every time you get in the shower to me is essential. Um, so I definitely make sure I do that. Okay. And then I love this brand Oak Essential and I'm almost out. So I will be restocking really soon. I do have a code that you guys can use. They have like, this is like a spa in a bottle. Like they have, um, this is the Waken body wash. And honestly, this smells like a really nice four season spa. I'm not exaggerating. I also have the lotion. I am going to apply after my shower. Um, and then I am completely out of the moisture rich balm, but I like to mix like a nice, like 
body oil with lotion and it just gives me like a really nice radiant glowy skin but this is like what i use in the shower and um yeah so i'm gonna take a shower and get ready for the day this you have to get i will link all, all of my body care essentials in the description so you guys can like be up on it Okay, I just got out of the shower. I feel so fresh and just clean. I'm gonna use my Oak Essential Lumis Body Lotion. I love this stuff. It is really nice. As soon as I get out of the shower, I like to make sure that I lather up just to seal in the product, so. Hey, nice. Okay, I think I should grab my robe before this towel falls off of me. Okay, I got my robe on. I love this robe. This is from Agent Provocateur. It's literally probably one of my favorite silk robes that I own. Um, they really make really nice robes. Like, look at the lace details of this. I bought this robe like five years ago. Um, in London, my girlfriend Kimmy, she actually picked this robe up for me and shipped it to me i paid her obviously but um pieces like this i didn't really see in the u.s um i don't know if this is something uh, still available or something similar but i will try to find it if it's around because a lot of their pieces they actually remake maybe it's just a different color um and i'll link it for you girls like my bath my uh silk robe <laughs> but i love to do it okay so we're gonna do a little skincare um dr dennis gross this i bought at the beginning of the year literally january and this is as much as i've used this is huge this is like 16 ounces so this is like the best bang for your buck when it comes to skincare i like to use these little um wrist scrunchies whenever i'm doing my washing my face because it stops the water from like draining down and I don't want to like ruin my robe. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Lather up that face. And while I'm like doing my makeup, skincare, just getting dressed in the morning if i'm not listening to habits of a goddess podcast i have like some slow melody playing like some jazz playing in the background so if you guys hear a little jazz playing that's what it is get your neck you see how this catches i love this whoever like thought of this invented this obviously a woman did <laughs> like how brilliant because I used to always like have water running down my arm onto my robe. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Tatcha, the rice polish deep for like an extra little exfoliating on my skin. I love this. Um, I really wanted to make sure that my skincare this year is just top priority and I love how this is kind of like see how it looks like sand <laughs> um literally you just put like a little bit of water lather it up and let it stay on your face for like 15 seconds but it's so like it helps get the dead skin because you know like you want to like make sure you're exfoliating so it gets all soapy and I do this like maybe twice a week maybe three but twice a week at least and you want to make sure that you're really getting you know, exfoliate 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 it's like a gentle exfoliating so it's really good so far i've been using this product since january so going on three months and i love it Again, I will link everything skincare wise products in the comments in the description for you girls. Here with my tonic, extra texture tonic. A 
literally my skin. I'm just like pressing this into the skin. <laughs> Going with this Violet C. This is like a vitamin C and actually matches my robe. How nice. Need to get some more of this. more of this this is the tatcha dewy skin cream and it comes with this cute little spatula and guys i'm completely out like so we're going to sephora today so i'm gonna have to buy some more because this is this is it oh my god this is it i love it so i'm just going to have to like um take my little finger and Look at that, beautiful. Look at that. Skin looks amazing, looks refresh. This. So when I go to Sephora today, I will get another one of this. All right, and then last skincare is the Lene Eye Cream with the retinol and stuff is like genius. I mean, skincare alone is like a thousand dollars, like a thousand dollars. So like ladies, when you leave your house and you go, you know, out, it costs like literally just skin. I'm, I haven't even like put makeup on my face yet. So, you know, I never had this problem, but <laughs> if you're like dating and some guy is like saying like 50, 50, just keep that in mind. Your skincare before you even leave the house is like $1,000. If you use these products that I use, it's, it gets up there. It's literally like almost $1,000. I'm girl mathing it up. <laughs> it's like $1,000. I'm pretty sure I spent like six, $700 on this. All right, so I've been taking vitamin or hair to not vitamin, hair to men. Hair to men and I have three capsules left. Now I only have two, so I'm taking one. And we'll see on Tuesday when I go get my hair done. When she takes everything out, how long my hair has grown since my last, since I think December is when I got this done. Okay, so let's do our makeup. I am, I don't know what kind of look I'm going for, but we're just gonna roll with it. Um, so let's talk about this whole TikTok fan that, is going on i have to say if that happens i'm gonna be a little disappointed i feel like the past two years i finally figured out how to use tiktok because in the beginning everyone was making these videos of dancing and these songs that were just so like trendy that people had these dance moves too and for the longest i didn't feel comfortable posted on TikTok because I didn't know how to use the platform. And finally, I figured out how to use TikTok and now they wanna freaking ban it. I understand like what every, you know, what, what's in the media, I understand like their concerns, but I also have my own opinion. I'm not gonna like view it or say my own view opinion on, on like what I think. But I would say this, one thing I learned from like previous um, other platforms that tend to somewhat disappear after a while um, is to never have all your eggs in one basket. And that goes for anything in life. Never have your eggs in one basket. So I've been on YouTube since 2019 with this channel. I did start a YouTube channel like um like before but i never really posted on it like i posted like one or two videos so i never i don't really want to count that channel but i would say i've been on here since 2019 and you know i post but i'm not as consistent as i should be and i am going to be more consistent um one thing i learned is that at any given time if you don't own the platform it can be you know, it can vanish, it can go away, you know, as we're seeing right before our eyes, like what's kind of going on in the media. So I would like to know you guys' comments, you know, 
I'd like to know you guys thoughts in the comments um, about do you feel like this is something that you would miss like a platform because you're on it and you enjoy it whether you're like a content creator or not like do you enjoy the app like for me it was very educational and i learned a lot of things on tiktok like within you know a minute or two you know a lot of times people are visual learners i'm a visual learner for sure and um i feel like that's just like one platform that will be potentially taken away for people like me who really appreciate like the diversity on that app. I I feel like I got access to a lot of new people who I've never seen on Instagram or YouTube. Um, so hopefully I will find those creators if TikTok does go away. Hopefully I will still you know see those creators. If they create like a YouTube channel, I would definitely support them and follow them on YouTube because um, I really enjoy TikTok and I really enjoy some of the creators that I come have come across over the years. You know, whether it was entertainment, whether it was educational or whether it was just like luxury, you know, content. And I found some, you know, like other luxury girlies. I enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts, guys. <laughs> Um, so I have some makeup that I've been using. I don't think I shared on here since I purchased it. I definitely shared it on my TikTok. I upload every day on TikTok. I feel like I've gotten the... That's another thing too. I feel like it's so much easier to like film and upload on TikTok. Like I can do everything within a day. Um, so, but anyway. I feel like... Um, oh, new makeup, right? So I definitely share this on my TikTok, but Hourglass. I've been wearing their concealer and their contour since I've purchased and I love it. So let's talk a little bit about Hourglass. Um, I've been wearing this for about a month or so and I love it. The formula is very creamy, 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 <laughs> creamy. Um, this color is Teak Vanish and i love the texture of this product so just gonna add oh what is this i don't know what this little red spot did i get bit i did take a nap yesterday outside i was like i had like a self-care day just by the pool and i think a mosquito bit me i don't know but anyway this formula is really nice it's very creamy it's so smooth easy to apply um i would recommend it i love it i absolutely love it the brushes i love too so i just cleaned my brushes yesterday too as well so this is clean and nice but this is actually i think their foundation brush um but i've been using this to contour with but i'm actually going to use this to blend out my concealer i'm gonna use the same brush in a little bit too as well so yeah this product i would give it a 10 honestly like i've been using it every single day since i've gotten it it's so creamy the formula is perfect it does last i don't see any crease and i will link it for you girlies all my beauty skincare everything is going to be linked for you girls <laughs> I feel like this shade matches my complexion really well. I probably could go a little lighter if I wanted to, but living in Florida, it's so easy to get tan. And so you end up like having, you know, to rebuy new foundation or concealer because like your skin is like two shades darker now. And so I think this is perfect for if I do get tan or if I'm not as tan. <laughs> I think this is a really nice you see how this looks like skin and that's beautiful like if i just wanted to go like this and pretend like i didn't have anything on i can do that that's beautiful all right so we're going to do a little bit of a mac highlighter and i actually may try to match up a concealer from hourglass to match uh this concealer from mac this is the nc42 i like a little brighten 
I like a little bright and so just a little bit, not too much, not too crazy. The thing about makeup is totally like creativity. You just have fun with it. And you know, your face is like a canvas. <laughs> So anyway, guys, I hope they don't ban TikTok. I really enjoy making videos on there. And I feel like, you know, I'm just now getting the hang of it. You know, I feel like I'm starting to get like a community on TikTok as well. YouTube, you know, I don't post as much, but I'm going to be posting more. So I want to build my community on here. And then I have my podcast. My podcast is thriving. Oh, my God. So this past week, I recorded a um, affirmation around entrepreneurship that was requested from one of my listeners. And I feel like, you know, like as an entrepreneur, because I'm a content creator, podcaster, YouTuber, I have different avenues of income. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm not just on one platform. <laughs> And as an entrepreneur, you can't just have one stream of income. You got to have like multiple streams. You got to have multiple skill sets. You know what I mean? I feel like to really thrive and be successful because if one, if one stream of income slows down, you still have other streams of income. So if you want to listen to that episode, listen to it. Link is in the bio. It's really good. And I, today I'm gonna record, re-record um, some content to, um, to touch more on entrepreneur and all that stuff too. So yeah. All right, I think that's beautiful. Now we're gonna just contour with the hourglass. I love this stick. This is like their foundation stick. This is really, really nice. I actually may try to get a foundation stick that's actually my skin color and maybe play with it, experiment with it. I don't really wear foundation as much, guys. I just do concealer and bronzer, blush, you know? That's it. So I love this little, it's so easy to slide up, twist up or whatever, but it's really nice and creamy. I was completely out of my other um, con contour stick, so I had to get like some new, um, I had to get a new contour stick, so I wanted to try this, and I love it. It blends perfect, like it's so effortless. Look how pretty that is. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna finish up my makeup. Um, we have some errands to run, girlies. We have, um, so I wanna return, I'm so bad about this. You know like Amazon has those drop-offs? Oh, all I gotta do is just take it there. Like, I don't even have to repackage it. So I gotta return a microphone that I bought from Amazon. I don't know why they advertise it sometimes. Like, the microphone is a cute little pink microphone, right? Because I wanted to record some videos and stuff with the addition to the podcast. And it doesn't fit my iPhone. It's for, like, an Android. And they advertise as if it fits for an iPhone. So that's... You know, I gotta return that, and then I gotta return like a uh, something else, and then we're gonna go to Sephora, and I may make it to TJ Maxx, depending. I want to look and see what they have for the house. We're trying to like decorate, and we're just not finding our vibe. Like our house is Mediterranean, so everything is so modern. Like when we go into the furniture stores to get inspiration. Everything is so modern. Like we bought this cute leopard. Once we got home and realized it really didn't go with our home, we tried to return it based off what we were told, the return policy, and they would not accept it. Well, they accept it, but it was like a store credit. And we're like, we don't need a store credit because your store doesn't really match our vibe. And it's hard for us to find stuff in the store to match the Mediterranean home. So, I don't know. I, I need to find something to go in our home, like, to match the vibe. It's been, like, a journey. So, I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and just look around and see what I see. Take some pictures, come home, and see if it would look right. Think about TJ Maxx. You can return something that you bought like two years 
I've done that before. <laughs> Don't ask why, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm back on YouTube. <laughs> This is gonna be a really nice vlog, so I hope you guys stay to the very end. I'm really excited. All right, so let's, um, so I think everything looks really good. Let's set our face. I'm gonna use two different powders, the Laura Mercier and Translucent. I love this. This is like the Translucent Loose Powder. This right here does not leave a white under cast. And I love this Hourglass brush. This is really nice, so perfect and you see I'm just setting my under eye with this brush it's so nice I love it perfect so but I do want to buy some new makeup today um I saw this eyeshadow palette and I want to pick that up from Sephora and yeah that is the plan today My nose is itching, so like this feels really good because I'm like scratching it, but still setting it too. <laughs> All right, so now let's put this in here and then I'm gonna also use this Huda Beauty. I should probably buy, yeah, I need to buy one of these too as well. So I'm gonna use this. This is in the shade Kampa Kufa Kufana. I'm totally butchering that. But I like this because of the yellow. And this just kind of helps bring that color back into the face. You know what I mean? So you gotta trust the process. Like makeup is definitely trust the process kind of thing. Like have faith to the very end because you're gonna be like glowing and looking good. But right now with all this powder, I look a little, a little like, <laughs> dusty <laughs> so I didn't want to use that word but you guys know the process all right I'm gonna finish my makeup then I'm gonna come back because I don't want this to be too long okay so um I'm gonna do my hair with the Dyson this is what I like to use on my hair this is frisbee gone um, I got this from TJ Maxx for like $7, so I don't know if, I don't know if I can link this or not, but I use this. It's a little thick, but just a little bit goes a long way, and it gives me like a really nice gloss. Um, so I'm going to use this. I look forward to getting my hair done next week because my hair has grown out so much. I will say that hair vitamin, those vitamins for your hair really does work because my hair has grown out so fast, so long, <laughs> um, within three months. Cause I think I got my hair done in December, right before New Year's. And um, so it's definitely time for me to get like the keratin treatment and all that stuff. Like, look at this, this is actually not too bad if I just kind of like curl the frame of my face. But um, these are curls from yesterday, you see? Like so much body, right? You wouldn't even think that it's time for me to get my keratin treatment, but like if you like put your hand in my hair, you'll know there's a difference. So I, I need a keratin treatment. Um, but anyway, so let's start doing this. I like to section my hair like in two or three sections on each side. Make sure I have this turned the correct way. And boom. I'm gonna finish wrapping up my hair, but you like to, I like to hold this for like 10 seconds and it kind of like keeps the curl longer. So it like helps film it, but I'm gonna finish my hair and then 
I don't know what lipstick I'm gonna wear. Definitely like something pinky nude, so let's finish. And voila, I told you guys, you gotta trust the process. <laughs> so my curls came out beautiful with my Dyson. I swear by this, I can curl my hair within five minutes or less. It's so easy, very easy. All right, so now what's left to do is find a lipstick to wear. Let me wash my hands because I have like a little bit of this oil. Actually, I'm going to put like a little bit more. Um, just kind of like touch the hair because I like it to have like a little bit more, you know, shine to it. Almost like that fresh salon look. Is Urban Decay Conspiracy. One pink. Let's see. I think that's pretty. This is actually really pretty. I do have some more. I'm completely almost out of this, but this side I have a lot of gloss on, so I hate to get rid of it. Uh, you see how pretty that is? It's like a beautiful like nude. It's very subtle. I swear by these lipsticks. Um, they last all day, literally. What do you guys think? I think this is so pretty. Let's add a little bit more on top. You see that? That's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for like a few seconds. Clean up a little bit here. Okay. Oh, you cannot tell me this isn't like such a gorgeous, like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So let's add our earrings and accessories. And then I'm going to get dressed, show you guys my outfit. And then we got to get out the door. I swear. It takes me two, three hours to get ready when I'm filming because, you know, you fam, you stop, you charge things, but I'm really happy with how I feel like a goddess. I am a goddess. This is so beautiful. All right, let's let's go find an outfit. <laughs> okay, so this is my dress that I'm gonna wear today. I got this from this little boutique in the mall. I can't even think of the name, but ladies, when I run errands, I love to put on cute little baby doll dresses like this just something very flowy um that is so cute and it's very you know easy to wear it's easy easy to style i'm gonna style it with these rose pale um hermes around sandals so we're gonna do that it actually matches my nails this outfit so yeah i like dresses like this i um unfortunately i can't like this this exact dress for you but when you follow me on my other platforms like Instagram, TikTok, I do link a lot of my outfits that I do wear and you'll see like most of it. So like day in the life content, like my outfit of the day, like that kind of stuff. So definitely stay up to date with me there. Let me get dressed and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay, so I have this dress on. I am just feeling the shade of pink. So I just picked this up because it was the same shade, but this is Parfum de Marly. Um, I love, it's very light and uh, very pretty floral scent. I'm gonna put these sandals on and then I am just gonna wear this. I'm not even gonna change bags, um, even though this shade of pink is clearly brighter. I think it's still pretty. All right, so I don't know, should I add a little coat to this? Let's add like a little coat gloss
it actually seals in the lipstick anyway, so. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the look. All right, this is the look. So let's go run some errands. We're gonna go to Sephora, TJ Maxx, Whole Foods to do a return. What do you guys think? Pretty, I love. All right, let's run errands. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a Amazon return. This is how it looks. Got a scan card, or no, we scan here. Okay, so you pretty much get like a little poly bag and you put it in here. Oh wait, why is it doing, oh, you hit next, okay. Oh, wait, there's more steps. Okay, this actually goes in. Okay, so once it's in there, you just place it in there like that and then you close it. And then all of this is dropped smiley face simple all right and we're gonna do the second one all right so the second one put it in the kiosk and off we go all right so that's simple So we need to restock up on the dewy skin. This is what I'm completely out of. So let's go ahead and get this. Okay, so I am gonna restock on this too as well because I am almost out and I might as well get it. And then I love this luminous dewy skin mist. Um, I used to spray this to set my makeup i'm gonna get one of these too as well just having a really nice tatcha day good value this is only 68 dollars wow it comes with the water cream the deep cleanse the cleansing oil the dewy skin the rice oh i may get this too I love little minis like this, and this is actually perfect to travel. I think I'm going to get this too, because I am traveling really soon, so I'm going to grab this too as well. Look how beautiful. This brush actually looks like really nice. I actually have some blushes, but I like this size, like the little mini. I do have some House Lab by Lady Gaga blushes, so really pretty. But this is really nice. Okay, so I saw um, this palette from Patrick Ta. I think it was Patrick Ta. I felt like it was Patrick Ta, but this doesn't look like the palette I saw that I want to try. So I wonder is there a different palette? This cannot be the only one. Maybe this is the only palette they have. Doesn't make sense. I don't know. It looked different, like the colors looked very different that I saw on TikTok. Oh, you know what? There's more over here. Okay. I have to go and look and see which video. I saved the video because I really wanted to try the eyeshadow palette. It was this one in Makeup by Mario, so we'll see. But look at these blushes. Not that I need any more blushes. It's really nice. Oh, this is foundation? Wow. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Wow. Cream foundation and finish powder duo for face that's really pretty I would contour with this all right let's see which 
this could possibly be my my color it's really pretty oh that's so pretty this is really pretty this is a plumping gloss pretty oh this is a pretty pink what color is this say less and I think they're out of this color oh look how pretty this is I actually want this okay but I think they're out of stock Okay, so we have one love. I'm gonna get this. This is so pretty. Okay. Really pretty. Okay, guys. So Lily Galici, she's like one of my favorite girl, like, entrepreneurs. Um, I just love her whole, like, empire that she's created for herself. But she went on Good Morning America recently. And her makeup artist was doing her makeup and was showing us the new lashes that she's coming out with. So I was hoping that they had them in stores, but I don't think they are like out yet. But I really want to get a pair of Lily lashes. Um, I need some dramatic lashes. I need a little drama. <laughs> These are too much drama though. 34th Street, I don't know. Like I want to find a really good pair of lashes. Um but not too much drama but i want a little bit of you know like i got i want a little bit of glam i feel like my my ardell wispies they're cute for every day but like i kind of want to like spice it up a little if that makes sense especially with like some upcoming events i have so i don't know i may get a pair or i may just wait um i think i've tried blushing before i feel like i've had I used to wear my Emmy and Mykonos a lot, but those are, I feel like, too heavy for my eyes. This one is Everyday My Emmy. I think this is, like, more of an everyday look. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is Beverly Drive. This is too heavy. Too, too heavy. I need, like, a little bit. This is too much dramatic. I need, like, something in between. Like, I need that... Like they look good here, but then when I look at the pack, look at them in the packaging, they look so heavy, like too much. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I may just wait, but I do love Lily lashes. Like I want a little bit of drama, but not too much drama. Just put the bag up there and play. Okay, so I did want to come in here and look at the Dior um, highlighters. And not that I need another highlighter, but this actually looks really pretty. Like, all of these look really pretty. So let's, like, let's play around with a little bit. I don't know which one I would try, though. I have, like, this in the Chanel powder form, but, like, this is so pretty, too. I thought I was recording the whole time and I was not recording the whole time. Oh my God. But I've been swatching. So I have the pearly right here. It looks ashy on me. I don't know. I don't think I like it. Um, and then I swatched the pink. This is like really pretty. This is like right here. Swatch a little bit. And and then I have the rosy. The rosy looks pretty. And you know what? These may be really pretty, like, um, on your eyes, like eyeshadow. Like, you can build up on it. But, like, this is the pink, 11. And this is the rosy. I feel like you can get away with this as a lipstick, too. I don't know. I'm going to wash my hands because this is getting out of control. Then we have peachy. A little spot here <laughs> like a kid playing and makeup okay 
I'm not convinced. I feel like I would buy these because they're pretty and they're new, but I feel like I would I would be a little intimidated to actually use these. So I think I'm gonna stick to my powders and be be happy with the Chanel powders I have. But I did put like a little bit of this on my cheek here. Maybe if I had like the right sponge to apply, it would, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna get the pink. I wanna try a foundation. Even though I haven't been wearing foundation, I've just been doing concealer. I kinda wanna try a foundation because those nights I wanna get like super glam. I wanna have like a foundation that I love. So this is the 4.5 and warm, and then this is the five and warm. I'm leaning towards the 4.5. I don't know why but I feel like this is gonna be like my color. Or maybe not. So let's see. That's actually not bad. I blend it out. That's pretty. I feel like this is gonna be too orangey. I'm kind of leaning towards this. It actually looks really good like on the back of the hand you can't really tell but like i have it here in this area it actually looks really good okay so i love the concealer that i got from hourglass and this is the color that i've been using it is teak zeke teak or whatever teak vanish 9.5 um i love this it's like a must-have for sure. Oh, they have mini ones. I didn't know that. I didn't know they have mini ones. I would love to get something to like brighten. I don't know what color that would be. But I'm curious to try their foundation and my shade. I just want to kind of like try it. So I'm going to find a color. I have the espresso to contour with, but let's see if we can find like a really nice color to like wear for foundation. So golden almond. I may need a little help with this. When it comes to creams, I don't know. I may need a little assistant, but Hourglass is like slowly becoming like a really favorite of makeup. Like I've been using the ambient um palette for years and i've been using their primer for years but i never ventured out into other stuff so i'm really excited okay so i have this color here this is 15.5 and the color sable and this is the swatch on me and then this one is golden almond this is the swatch right here up top but when you put these two together, this looks more reddish brown and this looks more cooler brown. And I know lighting is everything, but I feel like the Sable in the 15.5 is like more of my color. So I wanna get like a little, I don't know, like a little sponge or something to actually swatch on this side. So let's see if I can find like a little sponge but this actually might go well with my skin tone and this is the Dior side I think the Dior looks really good and really pretty lippies Oh, this is a pretty pink. Look at that. That's pretty. 
Goodbye, yay. Okay, let's do this side. I don't know. <laughs> you got a little, uh, yeah. You gotta trust the blending. I know, you gotta trust the process. You gotta really blend. You gotta go to work. <laughs> Oh, you're right. See? You're so right. Trust the process. It's all every time. I'm telling you, you just gotta trust it. I know. Today when I was doing my makeup, I was like filming. I was like, trust the process. <laughs> it's gonna look good with all together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's cute. That's pretty. I love when my. I love when I, I have like this one. I think it's better than that. <laughs> I think it just sits on your skin better. I was gonna say I love creams on my skin. Mm -hmm. When I used to get my makeup done professionally, like the artist, she would have like it didn't have name on it, but it was like palettes of creams. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I've it looked seen them so that good. And I would try to recreate. <laughs> Nowhere near it. Wait, hold on. Let me get the mirror so you can look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. You know what? It melts into my skin. That's what it is. And then like. Yeah, this is my kale salad with avocado, Parmesan cheese, red chili pepper flakes, salt and black pepper, and my chicken cutlet. So delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, hands down, the best San Pellegrino. This is delicious. Like, this is my new drink that i love um it's a really great sparkly drink definitely try this it's perfect for the summer i'm not a drinker but if i was i'm pretty sure this would taste good with like maybe some rum i don't know but this is really nice okay so i'm gonna enjoy my lunch outdoors and enjoy let's see how this tastes this chicken cutlet i haven't had one in a long time mm. okay that's good the salad is really good Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. By the way, I'm outdoors in natural lighting. And the hourglass foundation stick is on this side. It looks like skin, it looks really good. And the Dior one is on this side. I kinda like this side better. Um, my favorite drink cheers that is so good alright I'm gonna finish and then I may do like a little Sephora haul this is so good oh my gosh I have something to tell you Something that happened to me at Sephora. I'll save it whenever I do the haul. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy. Okay, so I just got back from Sephora. We're gonna do like a little Sephora haul. Um, Funny story, so while I was like doing the color swatches with the foundation and everything, 
this lady, I mean, I am short, so like you couldn't see me, but you could see my back. So I had my, my Birkin sitting on top and I was doing like the makeup swatches and I like to not have like my handbag like on me while I'm doing the swatches because it's so easy to get makeup everywhere. So I put it up top and this lady, she was on the other side and she was like, who left their baby Birkin? And she went to grab it and she like literally grabbed it. And I was like, excuse me, ma'am, like I'm here. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I knew her attentions were in the right place because she probably thought someone like abandoned their, their Birkin, right? But I was like, I'm trying on makeup, like I'm swatching and I just don't want to get it on my Birkin or my clothes or, or my dress. So, you know, that's why the bag is up there. But I thought that was funny because she was like, who left their baby Birkin? <laughs> I wish I would have caught that on camera. Um, but anyway, so we have a lot. It was not cheap at Sephora today. So the first thing first, I'm going to share with you girls. This right here, I already have like the, the big bottles and everything, but I'm getting ready to go on a trip soon. And I need travel size skincare. And I do have some samples, or I actually do have some travel size other skincare but i like that this has its own bag and everything so i'm really excited to travel with this I'm, i think i'm just gonna put it in my suitcase and let it stay there but these portions like look at that like look at that how cute so pretty much you get the deep cleanse the camilla cleanse and oil to take off your makeup the Tatcha Water Cream, the Rice Wash, it's a soft cream cleanser, the Dewy Skin Cream, and the Essence. All of this for $68. All of this for $68. That's not a bad deal. And these are, to me, these are really nice sizes for skincare, travel-wise. So I do believe like this, like look how cute this is. So I'm going to keep it like this and put it in my luggage and just let it stay there. Like I don't need to have it out on the vanity. It just needs to stay in my suitcase. So my skincare is ready for me. So I really appreciate Tasha for creating those sizes. Then I restocked up on this um, dewy serum that I shared with you guys. I said their packaging is really cute um, that I said that I um needed to restock up on actually you know what this is a different serum i actually thought i picked this one up or maybe the packaging is different i don't know you know what i think i grabbed the wrong one but if it's the same like purpose i'm not gonna worry about it but anyway this is the violet c brightening serum and then this is just the dewy serum so um it's a three-in-one serum pumps hydraulic acid and lots of moisture in okay okay that's fine i meant to get this one though oh i don't feel like going back so i I'll, I'll just stick with it all right and then i got the dewy skin um remember i told you guys i was completely out of this so i got the bigger size i think yeah, because this is 50 milliliters and this is 75 milliliters. So I got this size and I think the packaging, this is a little bit different. Like look how pretty the packaging is, like with the flowers. That's really pretty. So just a little comparison. Oh, the light is flickering in the background, but just a little comparison of how it looks. Really pretty. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then I saw these when I was getting ready to leave, like in the little checkout section, you know, that's when they get you, <laughs> they have all this extra stuff that you don't need, but actually this is perfect for those days that you don't feel like I'm going to keep this in my travel bag. Those nights that you may be out when you're traveling and you just get in from your plane ride or whatever, or night out this is easy to take your makeup off so i like that um this is oh i did get this okay you know what i picked up the wrong thing i thought i got the serum the setting mist spray 
and I got a serum. So I really want to go get the setting spray. I need to change that, exchange that. Um, so I did get the wrong thing, but I got the right thing, but I got the wrong thing. So I did get the Violet C um, purple bottle. I did get that. Uh, so now I need to go and get the, the setting spray. Tatcha has like this really nice mist setting spray and this is not it, this is a serum. So I got the wrong thing, dang it. All right, I'm not gonna go back today. Um, all right, so I got an eyeshadow palette. I wanted to get the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette that I saw Bethany Frankel use on her TikTok. And I, I was like, why does this packaging look so different from his packaging in Sephora? I realized it was the holiday collection, so it's not available. And then the Patrick Cha, the Patrick Ta um, eyeshadow palette, I wasn't convinced that it was the same one in store, even though the sales associate was like, oh, this is the one that's in the video. I just, it didn't look the same to me. So I decided to go with the Natasha um, nude palette. And this is a really pretty palette. It has some shimmers, some mattes. I've never tried any of her makeup, but I've always heard like her pigment, her makeup is very pigmented. So like I need another eyeshadow palette. I need to use the ones that I have, but you know what? Like I'm pretty like, I have a Huda Beauty palette that's like probably 10 years old. I know that's bad. I can't get this out. Um, And I know I should probably throw it away, but like, it's irreplaceable like I can't get it anymore but this is so pretty and it kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty palette look how pretty this is the nude and then um let's open it oh that is so pretty these are the colors that I love wearing like the nudes the pinks and then look at the little shimmers you have like this right here it's called Delilah this is really pretty it has like pink shimmers in it Moose is pretty, Ella, Whisper, Maya, or Mia, that's really, really pretty. I love that, and then the mirror, I'm not gonna take this off because I'm not gonna use it just yet, but I wanna show you guys. It is so old, if you know, you know. This is the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette, and I know I should probably throw this away because makeup, it has expiration date, but this is as close as I can get. This is like a lighter version of this, in my opinion, for sure. But you'll see how like the textures of the, the eyeshadows, this reminds me of Huda, so that's why I wanted to try something different and new. But this palette was, I think, like 70 bucks. Pretty expensive, but um, it's really nice though. I'm not gonna lie, the packaging is really nice. So, we got a new eyeshadow palette. We got to experiment with the eyeshadows though. I can't, I got to get out of my like shell. I stay with like the browns and like today is like the most I've done in a long time. Um, oh, I did get some from Patrick Ta. Okay, so I got a, and this was the last one. I got a really pretty pink lip gloss. This is so pretty. It's plumping pink. Look how pretty this is. And the packaging is to die for. This is gorgeous. How stunning is this? Ooh, that is so pretty. How stunning is this? <sighs> Smells like that bubble gum. You know that bubble gum, that pink bubble gum that you like pull out? This looks, this smells like, and this looks like the shade of pink. Like the juicy, it's not juicy fruit bubble gum. It's pink, it's like, it's like this size and you just pull it out the thing. That's what this smells like. Same color pink though, gorgeous. Okay, I was really excited to try something new from Hourglass. I got a foundation stick and another concealer. So this concealer I'm gonna use to hide, to brighten my under eye. So I have the other concealer that I use. Um, this is the other concealer to just conceal and then I'm gonna go in with this to brighten. So I'll let you guys know how that lays on. Um, or looks well. <clears throat> so I got that. And then I got a foundation stick. I am being very bold in this Florida heat. 
with a cream foundation, but I <laughs> I realized cream foundations make my makeup just look so professional. And that's whenever I used to get my makeup done professionally, they would use a cream palette on me or airbrush, but nine times out of 10, it was cream palettes. And the foundation just looks so beautiful on me, like skin. So I am gonna play with this. I want to try like a full beat. I have an event that we're going to go to, I think on Saturday. So I'm going to try like a full beat, like makeup look with the cream. And I'm going to set my face really, really good because you don't want it to melt off. And I'm going to see how it like plays. All right. And then I got, oh, okay. I saw this on TikTok. This is so bad. I need to like stop. <laughs> I saw this Dior Forever Maximizer Highlighter. Do I need another highlighter? No, but it's pink. Do I need another pink highlighter? No, but it matched my dress and my nose today. So I felt like I needed to take it home, but this is so pretty. You guys saw me try this, swatch this, but this is such a pretty pink, like, oh my God. So I'm excited to play with this. Um, and then I did get another foundation too as well. This is in the 4.5 Warm Glow. I just want to like experiment. I haven't really been wearing foundation. Like I don't have foundation on guys. I have concealer on. You saw when I did my makeup a little bit today. But those those events that I have, you know, that I go out or whatever, like dress up, fully glam, I do want to probably put on some, some foundation. So I did pick up this. I just want to experiment and see how it really does with me. And then, you know, those little points that you get to use when you check out, I got another little sunscreen from Supergoop. This is a SPF 40 glow sunscreen, golden hour. So I just got this because it's travel size friendly. When I'm traveling, just put it in the makeup bag. And then I got a Lily Lash, um, what do you call this? Liner, not liner, but um, lash glue. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's a two in one. It's a liner and a lash glue. So yeah, so I got that. I used 100 points for these, so 200 points. But that is my Sephora haul, and it was pretty expensive, guys. But you know what? It costs to be a woman. Like makeup is so expensive. Um, so no 50/50, ladies. Like when you go on these dates, oh my god, I see like the 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 uh, social media posts and stuff. Like women are being asked to like split the bill. I'm thinking to myself like. Thank God I've never been asked, but like, whoo, like your skincare, that's a lot of money. Then you put your makeup on, that's a lot of money. Then you do your hair, your outfit. Why would someone expect you to spend, you know, half or whatever, split half, you know, like by the time you leave the house, you probably like spent a lot of money to like go on a date. <laughs> so you need to like be like taken care of. So anyway, that is it. Um, Just gonna like, I'm a little shiny from being out all day, but that is it. I don't think we're going to do anything. I thought we were going to go furniture shopping some more. I'm trying to figure out what bed set I want for a bedroom. I have an option, but I want to look around. Um, so we may do that. If we do, I'll include in this vlog. If not, I will see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. Today was fun. Um, I am looking forward to keeping these a weekly vlog, so definitely make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to like it, comment, um, say hi to me on my other social media platforms. I'm on TikTok while there's still, you know, while there's still a TikTok, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram and check out the podcast, Have a Civil Goddess podcast. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot. So while I was driving to Sephora, my manager texted me and emailed me like this huge event that I'm going to be going to. I'm so excited. So I will be vlogging it, but I'm going to a podcast conference in LA. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. And then I also got invited to a Spotify party, which I'm like, I'm so excited. Like I, I just, I wanted to like film like, but I was driving. So I'm like, no, 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 I can't do that. But it, it just couldn't have come at a better time. So like I have that coming up. So we're going to have some really good fun content on this channel. And then I have the boat show coming up too. So I will be like vlogging that too as well. The boat show in Palm Beach. Um, I just came from the one, well, we just had the one in Miami. 
If you don't know, I'm part of like affiliated with the boat show um, that happens three times out the year, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Palm Beach. And so I help with that. I create content as well. And I do have tickets for you guys. I will link those tickets that you can save 10% off your tickets. So if you're looking for something fun to do, that is the place. Um, yeah, so that's all the announcements that I have. But yeah, I was so excited. Um, just getting like being able to network and, you know, create um, build new relationships and I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm like all over the place with this vlog, but like though that was some exciting news. I want to just share in this vlog and look forward to some videos in the next few weeks of it being showcased. So that is all. Don't forget to follow. Bye lovelies. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.